Hiya, friends. I'm Pastor Dave, and I have another story that I'd love to share with you today. Sometimes a story seems to be about one thing, but if you think about it enough, you find out that it's really about something else or something more. That's kind of what today's story is like. Today's story is called Extra Yarn by Mac Barnett and John Classen. And it really is about yarn. But it's about more than yarn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you the story and show you these great pictures. And then I'll invite you to think about what else this might be about. Extra Yarn by Mac Barnett. On a cold afternoon in a cold little town where everywhere you looked was either the white of snow or the black of soot from chimneys, Annabelle found a box filled with yarn of every color. So she went home and knit herself a sweater. And when Annabelle was done, she had some extra yarn. So she knit a sweater for Mars, too. I think Mars must be her dog's name because there you can see the dog is wearing a sweater. But there was still extra yarn. When Annabelle and Mars went for a walk, Nate pointed and laughed and said, ha ha, you two look ridiculous. You're just jealous, said Annabelle. No, I'm not, said Nate. But it turned out that he was. <laughs> Nate and his dog got sweaters. And even after she'd made a sweater for Nate and his dog and for herself and for Mars, she still had extra yarn. At school, Annabelle's classmates could not stop talking about her sweater. Quiet, shouted Mr. Norman. Quiet, everyone. Annabelle, that sweater of yours is a terrible distraction. I cannot teach with everyone turning around to look at you. Then I'll knit one for everyone, Annabelle said, so they won't have to turn around. Impossible, said Mr. Norman. You can't. But it turned out that she could, and she did, even for Mr. Norman. And when she was done, Annabelle still had extra yarn. So she knit sweaters for her mom and dad, and for Mr. Pendleton and Mrs. Pendleton, and for Dr. Palmer, and for little Lewis. <laughs> she made sweaters for everyone, except Mr. Crabtree, who never wore sweaters or even long pants, and who would stand in his shorts with the snow up to his knees. No sweater for me, thanks, said Mr. Crabtree. So she made Mr. Crabtree a hat, and even then, Annabelle still had extra yarn. She made sweaters for all the dogs and all the cats and all the other animals, too. Soon, people thought, soon, Annabelle will run out of yarn. But it turned out that she didn't. So Annabelle, Annabelle made sweaters for things that didn't even wear sweaters. Oh, look at that town now. Things began to change in that little town. News of this remarkable girl who never ran out of yarn spread. And people came to visit from around the world to see all the sweaters and to shake Annabelle's hands. One day, 
An archduke, who was very fond of clothes, sailed across the sea and demanded to see Annabelle. Little girl, said Annabelle, I would like to buy that miraculous box of yarn, and I am willing to offer you one million dollars. No, thank you, said Annabelle, who was knitting a sweater for a pickup truck. <laughs> the archduke's mustache twitched. Two million, he said. Annabelle shook her head. No, thanks. Ten million shouted the archduke. Take it or leave it. Leave it, said Annabelle. I won't sell the yarn. And she didn't. So that night, the archduke hired three robbers to break into Annabelle's house. And they stole the box and took it to the archduke, who set off across the snow and sailed over the sea back to his castle. The archduke put on his favorite song and sat in his best chair. Then he took out the box and he lifted its lid and he looked inside. <gasps> his mustache quivered. It shivered. It trembled. The archduke hurled the box out of the window and shouted, Little girl, I curse you with my family's curse. You will never be happy again. And there you see the box landed on some ice. There's the box floating across the ocean. And who's getting it? It's making its way all the way back to Annabelle. It turned out Annabelle was happy again. There's everybody with their sweaters. That's the story that's called Extra Yarn. So, as I said, that story, it is about yarn. It's about some special yarn that didn't run out in Annabelle's world. But I think it could also be a story about something else. It could be a story about love or kindness. There's no reason that love and kindness could ever run out. But there's also no way that you could steal those things like the Archduke tried to do. They have to be given and shared like Annabelle was doing. I hope you have a chance to share love and kindness and color and joy and friendship with someone today. Because if you do, just like in the story how Annabelle's yarn changed the way her town looked, you can change the way that our world looks by sharing what you have. I'm Pastor Dave, and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow with a new story. Goodbye.